guys i'm welcoming you to my channel today thank you for watching my videos thank you for your love here on this channel in this video today we are going to be making this beautiful style you are looking at so this is what i'm going to be making today and if today is your first time of checking on this channel you are welcome you are welcome to this channel and i'm glad you are here so subscribe to this channel if you haven't and tell a friend to tell a friend to do so also don't forget to put on the notification bell down there to get you an update as I'll be uploading my new videos. Let's get started. Back measurement is 16 inches divided by 2 will give me 8 inches. I will place it on the shoulder line this way. And then the bust measurement is 37 inches divided by 4 is going to give me 9 one quarter, 9.25 okay then the nipple point that is the measurement from the shoulder to the nipple is 10 inches the hundred balls from the shoulder i have 13.5 and the half length is 16 inches the full length of the dress you are making is 55 inches the round of the under bust is 31 inches and the waistline is 32 inches hip is 44 inches let's get started then i'm going to mark the marginal line this is my marginal line so i want to change my marker this is my marginal line so first i'll get all the vertical measurement then the back measurement like i said is eight inches is 16 inches divided by two and what i'm going to do is to come down one inch from this point and you could do 0 0.5 and once you have marked one inch below the this point then you are going to mark three inches and you could depending on how wide you want the neck to be so you mark three inches and connect one inch to this three inches like this place a straight ruler to do this then get the hammer depth is 7.8 my hammer depth is 7.8 the bust point is 10 inches under bust like i said is 13.5 and i have my half length 16 inches okay so i'll, I'll go ahead and extend this markings together So I've marked, I've extended the point like so. So what you are going to do is to just determine how deep or how lower you want your neck to be. How low and how deep you want it to be. So now here I'm going to, I'm going to mark 7 inches. So 7 inches is good by me. This 7 inches right here. okay then here i'm going to on this point of seven inches from the shoulder i'm going to mark 0 0.5 half an inch then i'm going to connect it like so So this becomes my neck line okay this is my neck with the neck line okay so because it's going to have yoke so this is my yoke this is yoke okay so now i'm going to place the boss separation that is nipple to nipple okay so from here i'm going to mark four inches I have four inches for the nipple to nipple. So now 
I'm going to mark this is neckline for the corset. Then from this neckline, I'm going down one inch. And you could go lower than this. You could measure 1.5 or 2 inches. So I will prefer I will prefer one inch. One inch is good by me because I don't want to show my cleavage. Okay, so one inch is good. I'm going to mark 0 0.5 half an inch on this point. Then connect together like so and mark the same half an inch from the under bust and then draw a straight line to the under bust this is just a guide like so having done this on the bust point, you are going up 0 0.5, 0 0.5, half an inch, and below the bust, you are marking half an inch as well. Here we marked out half an inch from this point to the under bust to create the Boss or separation okay the allowance on the center front on the of the corset okay so this is half an inch and when you unfold you know we are cutting on fold and when you open it you unfold it is going to become one inch and when you want to cut it on fabric you add your joining allowance to it now i'm placing the nipple to nipple measurement which is four inches to create the dart line i've done that then i marked out 0 0.5 below the bust point and 0 0.5 above the bust point then on the waist line i'm going to mark one inch on the bust i will do the same thing i'm doing the same thing on the under bust then here too i'm going to mark the same thing then i'm going to connect these markings together with my straight ruler then i'm making this to the half an inch below the bust point i will use my cuff ruler to cuff it this way I'm being careful. Okay. Now we do the same thing to the other side. This way. Like so. I'll pursue it so this is it then once i've done this i add and take one inch from this side and one inch from the other side this one inch and one inch and then i'm connecting to half an inch above the bust point this way i will do the same thing to the other one like so i hope you saw this so now i want to create the neckline on the yoke part of the dress you are making so i've marked out the wideness and then for the depth i want to choose 3.5 then i will just step up one inch to cuff 
like so. So that's what that. Now I'm going to place the side seam before I create the cup. Waist measurement divided by 4 is 8 inches. And we took 2 inches for a dart. And I'll go ahead and add my desired joining allowance. And this is the quarter of my underbust. This is underbust line. And 2 inches we took. I will replace it on the joining allowance. So here I'm going to place the quarter of my bust measurement. This is a chest line. So quarter of my bust measurement. I have 37 if you can see remember. So 37 divided by 4 is what I'm placing and the value of that you took you are going to measure it this is it's more than half an inch then I'm going to replace it I'm replacing it like so and then my allowance the allowance I added to the other one then I'm connecting like so okay so we are done with this now what we are going to do is to just create the cup so let me cut my hand hole Cutting my hand hole. My hand hole. And then I'm going to look for the meet point. And this is the meet point. And I'm marking 0 0.5. For the back arm hole I'll be so this so this is it then I'm going to create the cup right here so here I'm going to mark on the underbust here I'm going to mark 0 0.5 from here. This is 0 0.5 and to the other side I will do the same thing 0 0.5. So guys once you have marked it out you take your core ruler and place it on the 0 0.5 that's half an inch and connect to the underbust like this i hope you saw this so place it 0 0.5 you step up 0 0.5 from the underbust then collect it to the bust point right here and this is what i want to do so this is how it's looking you connect it like so and then you are going to do the same thing to this one so guys to create this side this ammo side you measure from your bust point to the under bust this way so you are going to measure the distance between under bust to the bust point here i have 3.5 then whatever you are having in your own case you are going to add half an inch to it to create the cup around here because we have 
larger bust or fuller bust on the hammer side okay so that's essence of adding half an inch so then i'm going to place four inches like so this is my four inches so you are connecting this half an inch to this four inches on the arm old side and this is what i want to do with my curve ruler so today's four inches right here so once i've marked four inches out on the arm old side i'm going to connect like so i'm connecting it to this side I'm coughing and placing my cough ruler to do this. Then I'm going to mark the four inches to the arm hole. I make sure it enter the arm hole side. Like this. And then I'm going to cuff it to the other side like I did to the first one. As you can see, I placed my cuff ruler inside the ham hole. So it entered ham hole like so. And then I'm going to cut. So I'm arranging it, I've cut the yoke, the side and everything, so I'm arranging it. So this is what I got after cutting. So I have my center piece, the side and the yoke. Okay, so I'm short of drafting paper, so I'm going to, I think I'm going to use my material to cut the back panel for you to see. Hey guys, this is the back panel. I have the same measurement I add in the front panel here on the back panel. Okay, so I have 16 inches, then divided by two is the half of my shoulder measurement. Then I have two inches for the zipper allowance. Then I marked it out. Then I Measure the shoulder measurement, that's back measurement, which is 8 inches, 16 inches divided by 2. Then I went down 1 inch for the shoulder slanting. Then I connected shoulder slanting to the width of the neck. Then from the shoulder slanting, I have my 7.8 for the ammo depth. Then I measure the bus circumference divided by 4, which is 9.25, that's 9 one quarter, to curve the ham hole. Then I measured my bust point. I have my under bust, and this is my waist line. Okay? So I, I used regular that, you know, there's no corset at the back panel. So I measured four inches, which is the bust pan measurement. Then I marked it to the bust point. So I want to mark seven inches, if you can still remember, for the neck depth for the neckline sorry for the neckline seven inches for the neckline then i took 0 0.5 from the both side to create the dart leg 0 0.5 half an inch from the both side then i connected the dart leg to the bust point now i'm 
Now I want to place the waist measurement divided by four. Then I'm going to add one inch the that I took and then the seam allowance. This is the underbust divided by four and the volume of that I took. Then my seam allowance. So I've done bust measurement divided by four, then I'm going to connect it together. So now I want to slant the neckline, which is the yoke, the back yoke. So I'm doing this to have the same length and the same shape. So you can come down one inch from the below the arm hole side to do this and slant it like so now i want to cut so guys i'm cutting I'm cutting the yoke cutting the side i'm done with cutting and this is what i got this is the yoke so you can cut your dart into two and join it back later if you so wish so I'm not going to cut it, I will just sew like that. Many thanks for watching Dettos tutorial. Subscribe to this channel, like my videos, share with your family and friends. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next tutorial.